So we are EIT Food, and we are out there to improve the food system as it is at the moment. And this is our most yeah, important goal. And um, we are the biggest open innovation ecosystem in the world for um, agriculture, food and nutrition. And I would like to start with a short video showing you how we do the improvements and who we are. We need to future-proof our food. Why? Because the world population is expected to reach almost 10 billion by 2050. And currently, we are facing many demographic, environmental, and health issues that are threatening the future of our food system. Today, almost 1 billion people go hungry globally, while twice that number eat too much of the wrong foods. Food production accounts for up to 30% of global greenhouse gas emissions, 40% of global land use, and 70% of freshwater consumption. To make matters worse, we waste almost a third of our food globally. We believe that we are all responsible for and connected to the food that we eat, so we all need to work together to improve it. At EIT Food, we're building an inclusive and innovative community where the consumer is actively involved so that we can deliver an innovative food sector that produces healthy and sustainable food, trusted by society. And how are we doing this? By creating and scaling up agri-food startups, by developing talents and leaders to transform the food system, by launching new innovative products and ingredients to deliver healthier and more sustainable food, and engaging the public so that they can become the agents of change in the food system. Let's build the future of food together. If you'd like to learn more about how we are transforming the food system, our projects, and to get involved, then please go to www.eitfood.eu. Look forward to seeing you there. I really love this video because it come from, from it, it's really in a comprehensive way shows what, what we are doing and you're really hardly invited to, to visit our website. And if you want to learn more about me or about Frank, um, please go to our LinkedIn pages. There's all information um, available. So we are all aware that we have huge challenges to overcome. And we believe that as a society, we can only overcome these challenges when we all work together, when we bring players together and that there's someone who guides and accelerates the innovation process to transform the food system. This is what EIT Food does. And we have here three um, areas which show the mega drivers of the need to change something to the better. And yes, you can see it's social, environmental, and entrepreneurial. And this is basically the core elements of sustainability. And uh, 10, 10 billion people in 2050 need to be nourished in a good way, in a sustainable way. And in the same time, we have a super crazy situation that 2 billion people are already overweight by, while close to 1 billion is undernourished. Um, for our children, it's problematic because 35% of them are stunted, wasted, or overweight already. So environmental drivers, it's a no-brainer to make this better. So one third of our food is already wasted. 70% of the global fresh water withdrawals come from the food industry and the greenhouse gas emissions are huge that are allocated to this, to this system. So we really need to move and we really need to make the system better than it is today. And the yellow part is one where my heart really yeah, beats for, it's the entrepreneurial part. When we look into the startup ecosystem environment in Europe, we only see that below 4% of all European startups that are founded in the European Union are from the food, food industry. And from this 4%, 90% fail because there is a lack of market need for the products. And we all know, and I really believe in that the startups have got a really disruptive power to make something better. Just think about your smartphone. We have never thought 15 years ago that 
you could do everything basically literally with your smartphone. You even don't need to have a bank. You can do everything on your smartphone. And this is the kind of disruptive energy we need in the system. And the market is huge. We estimate uh, based on a, on a study that it's 200 billion for the European business sector by 2030. And this is not long time. It's eight years until, until this can be, can be harvested. This is our, our, our system. How are we? How we are spread all over Europe, as you are, we are all around the place. We're in all 28 countries and we are there to accelerate the innovation. And we want to really have a future fit system that produce healthy and sustainable food for all. We are, as I said, the world's largest food open innovation community and we connect people. We enable people and we are inclusive. So we invest in projects, organizations and individuals that share our goals for a healthy and sustainable food system. And the things that we want to make better, we can only do this together. So we want to build an innovative and resilient food system that really turns the world towards a better place and that makes a healthier society and planet. This is our community. And I really believe it's unique because it brings together key players from across the food value chain and as you can see there from industry, we have startups, we have research centers and universities in our network. And what makes us so unique is that there is industry associations out there. There's research associations out there and there are startups associations out there, but we are the only one, the only institution that has all three of them under one roof in one community. And there's big names and there's hidden champions. So it's a unique community and they're all committed towards our goals and they all want to change our food system as it is. How the transformation will work, the things we do are all aligned with our strategic objectives. The strategic objectives when the EIT food as a kick, as a so-called knowledge and innovation community was founded in 2017. So we are kind of a startup ourselves. And we have then defined with the partners, we started with 50 partners in 2017, and now we are close to 300. So they already in 2017, and the goals are valid even better than five years ago, they valid that overcome low consumer trust is important. We need to have a consumer valued food that is for healthy nutrition. We want to have the consumer in our food system. We want to connect the consumer again to the food system. We want to enhance sustainability through resource stewardship. So everyone is responsible for the product you produce. We want to educate the people to engage, to innovate, and we want to really advance them. This is the educational part. And we really believe that catalyzing food entrepreneurship and innovation is one of the key elements to make our system better. When we put this, when we put this into a bigger picture, you see on the left hand side our uh, strategic objectives, and on the right hand side the key elements of the farm to fork strategy, um, which is the basis of the European politics at the moment. So we identified six focus areas. And these fo six focus areas, I'm going to name them and read them. It's protein diversification, targeted nutrition, sustainable agriculture, very important, sustainable aquaculture, digitalized traceability, and circular food systems. And every project, every activity that we do touches at least one of these focus areas. And we think in the next years, this is the six areas where the most successes will be seen. You may ask, what have we reached so far? And I can give you the bulletproof numbers for 2020 now. And as you can see, we have a load of mentions in the media. So people start really to getting know us. And for 2021, you basically can double the numbers. Um, we have 100 million euros investment attracted through our activities in the whole startup ecosystem. We have more than 55,000 participants in our education programs. We have massive open online courses and so-called specific open online courses. Some, most of them, 90% of the courses are for free, but if you want to have a degree, you need to pay for the online course. We have 
more than 160 startups that we supported directly and we have invested our own money 10 million euros for direct financial support and grants and investments for the startup environment and we have already launched together with our partners 23 new products that are available in the market and this is our areas where we are active in and we have the honor to include education, innovation, and entrepreneurship, and public engagement as one of our functional areas. So in the education part, we attract, develop, and empower talent to lead the transformation. In the innovation area, we foster collaboration across the entire food system to develop the innovative technologies, products, and services that are needed. And in the entrepreneurship part, we support innovative and impactful startups and entrepreneurs to deliver new food innovations and businesses across Europe. And we are the only knowledge and innovation community that has a dedicated public engagement area where we engage with the people so they are able to become the change agents of the food system. And we are connected with basically three lighthouse events like the annual food agenda, the food unfolded, our online print version of the impactful things that happen in the world of food, uh, www.foodunfolded.com. It's really nice to read in the afternoon, late afternoon and in the evening. And then we have our own conference, Future Food, that is in Brussels, so that we are connected to the politics as well. I'm going to show you now a few examples of projects that really drive the change and that we want to show to you that there is already movement. So the Global Food Venture Program is a program where PhD students work on agri-food challenges and we evaluate their uh, potential to maybe really found a startup out of their uh, PhD program. Then we have Focus on Farmers and then we started Focus on Farmers as a technology uptake program. So to, to, to really spread the news that there's new technology to engage with the farmers and to tell them that technology uptake is super important. We didn't have to tell them, they already know that. We estimated that we would get in contact with 500 of the farmers and at the end it was more than 6,000 farmers that were really enthusiastically connected to us with this project, so huge success. And then we have Food for Thoughts, that's the area where you can um, really go in detail and educate yourself and, and we at the moment we help more than 50,000 learners to understand the food system better and the invitation stands if you want to learn go for food for thoughts and go to the courses I do this sometimes on my own as well now we're going to the innovation area so fostering collaboration across the entire food system is really important because we need alternatives in the markets we need new technologies products and services so that consumers can buy new ones and that we are at the same time innovating systems innovations so that we have new technologies in place that can be adapted and used, for example, by the agricultural sector. One project that I have with me is Sea Change. Sea Change is a project where we use seaweed that is harvested and seaweed is then fed through kettles and this reduces methane emissions and at the same time enhances the, the meat quality. Uh, as we have protein diversification as a focus area, um, the meat consumption in the whole world is rising. Only in the Western part of, of the world, the meat consumption goes back. So in total, we need alternatives that makes sweet meat production better. Then we have a project from base to farm where we produce insect larvae larvae in poultry feeding on the farm. And so we have the closed circle on the farm for the better food system that is future fit. And the digital twin management project um, yeah, links digital twins all along the food value chain so that you have a, a, a digital twin for all production steps that is needed. So it will reduce um, food production losses and recalls are, are really, really more easier when you have digital twins for each part of the value chain. 
So this is only examples on our project homepage. There's all our 200 projects where you can look into deeper and yeah, use, use quality time to find out what we do. In the entrepreneurship area, for me, I would like to point out that there are still two less female entrepreneurs. So if we choose, for example, as a functional food startup, it's an all-female team, and we support this through our seedbed program. So we have programs accelerate launch, for example, in every stadium for the startups. Delicious data is for community nutrition. It's based on AI and help catering companies to forecast food demands. And we have Redefine Meat, which is part of our Rising Food Stars network, where 70 startups are helping to transform the food system, which are already on the way to our SME. We have the world first 3D printed plant-based steak alternative product. You can see that there's a lot of movement and that I have a lot of examples with me. So please excuse that I don't go into really detail. And I think um, I leave you that page to read it on your own. You can have the um, recording available and I can send you the uh, presentation if you want afterwards, just drop me an email and you will get it or I send it to Mr. Hurt and you can have it and, and, and get a deeper impression on the, on the, on the public engagement part. So, one of the characteristics of EIT Food is that we are um, locally active and we support the agri-food sector on the ground across Europe. So we are structured around five innovation hubs. We have the EIT Food Center, where I am the managing director for. We sit in Germany and responsible are we for the Netherlands and for Austria. Then we have one innovation hub in Reading, UK, one in Leuven, Belgium, where our headquarters is located as well. We have one in Spain and we have one in Poland. And we do really interesting things on the local level. When we go to our activities at EIT Food Central, we have a close collaboration with the National Ministry for Education and Research, where we are out together with the ministry, create and expand innovative startups, and we are creating a future-proof innovation landscape. So with new co-creation elements, with new brainwriting sessions, we really try to bring people together to a new way of cooperation. And in the Dutch, in the Dutch, uh, in the Netherlands, we have had um, one winner of the ERT Food Accelerator Network. So it's a new weeding vector robot that can tell the difference between weeds and crops and autonomously remove the weeds. In South, again, we have projects about water scarcity, which is one of the major challenges in Southern Europe's, in Southern Europe's uh, agricultural area. And it's about edible food coatings. It was developed that, that can, the coatings that are applied can preserve and extend the shelf life of food. So it again, is against food waste. In Northeast, we have bio products that both protect and stimulate the plants. So we're on the field again, Micro Plus, is again a startup which won prizes for EIT food innovation competitions and the bioproducts that protect the plants from pathogens and stimulate their growth, help farmers and growers to be cost effective and provide consumers with a healthy and affordable food. And again, a new product out there for smarter weeding. It's a startup called Umana that have developed a smart non-chemical in row weeding machine. And this is something that we see the digitalization and robotics and small scale robotics is coming into the agricultural area with huge force. And so the test farms 2020 is now with the Polish Association of Beetroot Producers, and I think super technology that can be applied in the field. In Northwest, we have a new scientist's life. So we have innovative, inspiring talks from selected agricultural experts. And this is a super interview. Um, if you want to have access to this interview and you need only you only need to go to the homepage, it's about yeah, the videos um, that are length is like how the partnership with ERD food is going, what is what is featured, for example, lab grown meat, edible insect, or gene editing in farming. So what's important and what's an opinion of really experts? And then another project. And you can see that the focus at the moment is really on weeding and on robotics and on agriculture, that we have an entrepreneur, again, that won the first prize in, a, in, in the ERT Food Innovation Prize competition and is part of the ERT Food Seedbed Incubator. Um, so we have a patented seaweed-based packaging material, um, solar blue, so the produced containers look and feel like plastic, that's a biodegrade, super easy. So, and again, new shelf life and reduces food waste. 
In West, we have influencer campaigns, so we work with the youth as well. So Generation Z, Generation Y is super important to get in contact with them. And we have a project with the University of Work that, that the startup again helps to have a sustainable packaging to optimize the shelf life again. And all the beans are grown in Flanders. So it's the regional component as well that we see the first mile delivery. So on the field towards the value chain. And the last mile delivery are super important things that need to, need to be improved as well. And Mr. Hurd asked me to give you an impression how it started all. So Yeti Food basically started via a uh, proposal that was handed in towards the European Commission in 2017. It, in, in the former times, it was called Food Connect. And there was um, four, four people sitting together, driving all their energy into an idea. And the result was a proposal which 50 partners from industry, academia, and from startup environment and RTOs supported. And this was successful in 2017. And then 2017, 2018, the EIT Food Kick, the knowledge and innovation community was founded. And now we are EIT Food and we're in the middle of our first funding period. And we are out there to, until 2024. And then the second funding period starts. So we are out there for 14 years so that we have the chance to really make a difference. This is maybe something different to other Horizon Europe and Horizon 2020 activities that you are you are known about. So there's not only EIT food out there. There's uh, other kicks, other knowledge innovation communities as well out there. So the EIT was founded 2008 to really bring innovations faster to the market. And um, EIT food is part of a family. So you see here eight other kicks: EIT climate, EIT digital, EIT health, EMU energy, raw materials, manufacturing, and urban mobility. And this together is the EIT innovation community to create and find innovative solutions to major societal change. This is something we have not to forget that we are out there to make a difference and to create societal change, to make the things better in comparison to the past. So at the moment, I think this is data from 2018. So you might double this as well. So more than 6,000 jobs are created. Close to 1,000 products have been put to the market. 1.5 billion investments have been raised by all of these EIT activities. We have more than 2,000 graduates from EIT programs. We supported more than 2,000 ventures, and we have more than 50 innovation hubs all across the place. And we are all around Europe. So you can consider the KICS as Europe's one-stop shop for innovation in the areas you can see on this slide. So we are really open and we are eager to get new partners. And this is really something that is really close to my heart as well. When we work together with our partners, it's unparalleled access to a network of Europe's leading agri-food businesses, startups, university and research organizations. We are all curious minds, so curiosity drives us as well. And if we benefit from the latest online courses, programs and professional development opportunities so that you can have a positive impact through society. We are all change makers. So we support ideas from the concept to the market so that we can launch the innovative products. And we really want to deliver healthier, trusted and more sustainable food. So if you want to become a change maker, you are invited to join our network. We support entrepreneurs, which really is important to generate disruptive energy for the system. And then we identify, accelerate, launch, and then scale the agri-food businesses. This is our core know-how that we are having at the moment as a focus for the next two years. And then the public is engaged with ourselves as well to really create a system through access to our innovative events so that we can have an eye high the exchange with the consumers and the customers of now and for the future. I hope I did not get lost in time, but um, I am inviting you to create the future of food together with us if you want to become part of our communities. If you want to share your ideas with us and help us transform this food system, please drop me an email, contact me, or go to the eitfood.eu homepage, and there most information is available and the EIT food kick is even described more in detail. So thank you very much for your attention and I hope I did keep to the 30 minutes.